to investigate. Warning. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Swim charge fins. Wirelessly charges your held tool while you swim. That sounds pretty cool. Definitely want that. Glad we have plenty of oxygen to work with. Water filtration. Been looking for that one for a little bit for sure. Food's pretty easy to get. Water always just takes a little bit more work. The plants work more or less, but this will help just kind of make us water endlessly so we don't think about it too much. And then we can take it with us on trips, which would be kind of cool. Control room. I already got that one, but I guess I'll take another one. Yeah, this place looks bad. Let's go grab some more air before we keep exploring out here. I didn't even mean to run into this. I guess I could have looked at the map and figured it out eventually, but... I don't know. I just didn't think about it. Mmm, yum. Okay. I feel like I have a renewed sense of hope towards figuring out what we're going to do today. Definitely have a lot to look at when we get finished with all this. Um, those wireless charge fins I got before, well, obviously not... Oh, hello. Well, obviously not going to... Uh be like a game changer kind of thing. They are kind of cool. They'll just allow us to keep all of our stuff powered up as we go along without having to worry about batteries so much. And to some degree, we can charge things and then swap their battery into other things and charge them. I think even stuff like the, uh, the Sea Glide while it won't charge faster than it gets used, I think it will severely, re like, increase the time that it can be used for, or something like that. Like, it, it lowers the power draw. Maybe that's a better way to say that. And then, of course, we can charge something else, swap the battery into it, and, you know, we're all good. Warning. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Alright, I hope there's nothing bad in here, because this place is dark. Is spare batteries? Guess not, maybe they're like little vials or something. I think I'd be able to scan these things as fragments. Nuclear reactor fragment, that's another cool one. nuclear reactor you can use for very long-term power source like it's it'll give a ton of power but you do have to put in obviously like nuclear materials into it so it'll uh it'll take a lot it takes a bit of work to get it running and unless you're doing something that requires a ton of power i don't necessarily find it that useful do they have like a nuclear meltdown or explosion in here or something Maybe. Looks pretty bad in there. Maybe that's why the base got abandoned. Alright. I'm assuming that's everything in here. Oh, and it makes a fruit. Gives you health. What the heck was that? Is that me? Did I make that noise? Warning. 
30 seconds of Maybe I made that noise. Reading. Oh, that was weird. So it gives you... I found oh. a lab Hi. that looked like it had been sabotaged intentionally. The outside was mostly intact, and the equipment inside seemed like it might have been appropriate for bacteriology before a fire tornado ran through it. Is it somehow related to Sam's death? Who would have wanted to destroy the place? Perhaps. Health, food, and water. Multi-purpose room glass dome. That one looks cool. Swim charge fins. Um, I'm assuming it's just like the regular fins, but, you know, it uses some extra materials. And I don't remember how we get that. The polyaniline. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Bulkhead. Yeah, you can use that to give extra structural support and separate flooding. Water filtration. Uh, yeah, we can make aerogel, so that shouldn't be terribly difficult. Nuclear reactor. Doesn't look like anything particularly difficult, though you probably need special items to actually use it. Aromatherapy, okay. You need some kind of like special nuclear thing, which I'm assuming I must have gotten a recipe for as well, right? Probably. Oh yeah, quantum locker, that would be a good thing to build still. Help me move things around a little bit. I still don't have a recipe for an ion battery yet. I think I've learned... Okay, reactor rod. I need more uranite crystal. But I believe it does provide a lot of power. Um, especially over time. So I guess you could, like, use it once and then you'd be good. Did we find the cotton and enemy yet? can't remember if we did. But if we did, we could make that. So that's, I guess, not too hard to make. Let's start looking at all these uh, logs we found. Investigation notes. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact. Perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability, and all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10 meter radius. We've studied the first Kara bacteria samples from the specimen. Results are promising. We were able to stimulate rapid multiplication of cells in a controlled environment, resulting in the creation of several different mutations with potentially useful applications. Think of the possibilities. Life-saving treatments, genetic research, it could be a window to understand the evolution of life on this planet. The findings could move us forward by years. We recommend a wider study, using samples collected from a greater variety of sites around the original postules. We trust you will provide the necessary security to do so. The Leviathan site must be protected. Uh, uh, Danny's not here, I'm afraid. Uh, that's okay. It's you I wanted to see. What's that you're working on? Just a sketch for a piece I want to make. <sighs> I'm slacking off. Don't tell the boss lady. <laughs> I won't. It's beautiful. What is it? I'm doing a series inspired by bacteria. Mutant beauty. Life, death, risk. You know, that kind of thing. What's this one? It looks like Karab, but... Vin, is this a mutation? It's just an art project. You know you're doing that thing with your neck, like when you're trying to bluff an alien intruder. <sighs> All right, fine. Fine. I'm bad at lying. Are you mutating Kara bacterium from the frozen Leviathan here in this lab? Please don't ask me any more questions. I don't think I need to. <laughs> Wish you were here.
Uh, this is a new person. She looks annoying. <laughs> Independent investigator. Focus the task revolution. <laughs> I've actually heard about this theory before, you know, and it makes a lot of sense. You know, if you're multitasking, you're not really focusing on multiple things. You're just switching off of paying attention to one thing or the other. And generally speaking, you're paying more attention to one thing over the other. Antenna, antenna, antenna plant. bulkhead door yeah so that's just another way other than just putting a reinforcement on a wall this is another way to reinforce and if um you know there was flooding this is another way to keep the flooding in one area or another the flooding mechanic is such a cool mechanic and i feel like it's completely underutilized in the game like it's it's an event that i feel basically never happens except on purpose you know you could see how much your um how much integrity your hull has. So if you're doing it, you're doing it intentionally. Because you can see ahead of time that, oh, my hull integrity is going down with every piece I add. And it's not like the enemies attack your thing. At least I've never put, I've never put a base close enough to anything large enough that would actually attack my base to find out, I suppose. But it just seems strange. Let's take a look at this. Overview of base layout. That's kind of cool looking. Or, I, that's sounding. Toggles power in individual rooms. So you could turn off... If you know that you're having a power draw that's too high. Let's say you only have one small solar panel and you got a ship that's just sucking down all the power. You could turn off the power, you know, temporarily until the sun came back out. I guess if you wanted to. All mounted display of hull stability and energy consumption. So this seems fairly unnecessary, but it's kind of cool. So I appreciate it. I'm going to build it just to see. Um, the only real functional use I see out of it is being able to turn off power in rooms, which is kind of a neat idea. But, uh... They put a lot of like they put a lot into the base building in the game, and to some degree, I sort of get it. Like it is, it's a cool mechanic, but at the same time, most of the time, I just make like outposts where I just make exactly what I need, and it's not like a big, you know, extravagant looking base. Because what's the point beyond the functional part? I mean, I guess it, you know, it's sort of like Minecraft where you could make a completely functional base without having cool looks or you could make something like really cool build that has no, you know, in-game function. So I guess it's sort of the same thing, but I never found that the power draw requirements for most of the game was ever a huge deal. Like, I've got two solar panels on my base and they're handling the charging, you know, for these things when I deal with them. I know the water filtration system does draw a decent amount of power, though, so that's sort of helpful for that. Um, so yeah, outputs liquid, like drinkable water and salt, which you can use the salt to make more water, if I'm not mistaken. Um, disposes of harmful byproduct. Does have substantial power requirements. So yeah, I guess, I guess, yeah, you could, uh, 
Maybe this is a little bit helpful for more power, but I, I feel like if I just put another solar panel, it'll help. But that being said, if I had a really deep under, you know, underwater base, like deep in a cave, maybe power requirements would be a little more something I need to look into. Self-sufficient colony supporting more than 20 people. Industrial outpost operating multiple docks and heavy machinery and research stations housing live specimens. None of which we are. We are a single person and I don't really see the need for us to use this. I never needed it in the first game, you know. Maybe there's something that'll change my mind. Okay. I think we're done in here. known position. They're weird looking, but I don't think they're dangerous. Alright, now what are you? Are you an aquarium module? Seems reasonably safe right here. Let's go investigate that really quick. Warning. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen yep. efficiency module. greatly decreased. I'll take the, um, titanium though. Nope, don't want you. Stay away from me. I saw you. <laughs> he was thinking about it. Ah, okay. We are here. Oh. I was wondering what that was. It wasn't quite popping in fast enough. Okay. So we will head back towards the vents. Look out for any dangerous sea creatures. Hello. There's a cable here I didn't notice before. Look out for any dangerous sea creatures. And look to see if we can find that trench. Here's the squid guy. What does this go up to? It's into that rock. Ooh, hello. Oh. Doesn't go to the surface, that's for sure. It's turning daytime again, that's good. Although I'm not sure if the daytime will reach quite far enough down for me to see down here. Trench. No, I don't think that's the trench. Stay away from you. Oh, we'll stay away from you too. After a fish. Stay with these guys because they're, I think, a little less dangerous to us. We can at least push them back pretty easily. Okay. Looking for a trench. Woo! Okay. Looking for a trench. It's in between these two areas, though, so I need to go back. Assume that you're okay. I'll give you a nice zap. Seek fluid oh, intake. I know, we're okay. Just looking for a trench. Significant geothermal activity detected below. Beware of high pressure and temperatures. Mentioned something about like a rocket or a thruster. I think this may be... Yes, this is more than likely what we are looking for. Excellent. No scary fish. Just dangerously hot or geothermally uh, dangerous things. Let's get our fluid intake going. Once again, running out of liquids. Vital signs stabilizing. Probably should have gotten more um, 
those ribbon plants. Could have at least gotten myself completely full. Okay, looking for spiral plants in here. What is that? That, yep, that, okay, that's gonna explode. Okay, so I need to look out for those. Supposedly, according to the wiki, this area is relatively safe other than the vents. Um, unlike a hot geothermal area, it's not hot down here. What are you? Can, of course, look out for any fish and uh, cut them and get small amounts of water from them, so I'll keep an eye out for them, too. really need to look for any of these vents that look like they're about to pop open like that one. I think if I maintain my distance we should be fine. And I doubt they would immediately kill us. They'd probably just do some damage. And, okay, so I see that thing. I don't know what that is. Looks important. Um, we need to be on the lookout for... Some spiral plant. Looks like a way out. Any guys around here that are gonna see me poking around? That is a squid. No way. I'm trying to scan things. do this quick. I don't know how long that'll keep them away. Horsepower upgrade. We need that still, I think. Or do we not? Do I already have the horsepower upgrade? Let's go. I don't think he'll come down here. Have the horsepower upgrade already, or did we just get it? It's some kind of. Yes, I just got it. Okay. That'll be a nice one to get just to keep us moving quicker with all this stuff attached to us. Here, we can cut you real quick. I don't think that guy will come down here, so we're probably reasonably safe. Featherfish. Have we scanned that yet? I guess we have. Three food. I mean, it's not zero food. Not, not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Keep accidentally doing that. Okay, let's keep going. Well, there's something right here. I wonder if I approach it from the side. Don't get too close. If I can... Avoid taking any damage. We're also going to take that. I think we'll need those later on. Docking module. Okay. That is something I'm pretty sure we want. Hello. Uranium. Excellent. And I think I see our spiral plant right here. Okay. Nothing going to immediately kill us. Certainly hope not. We can probably regrow this, although it probably needs to be grown in a water environment. Let's go down there. We're going to keep exploring a bit since we're already down here and all. So 
assume we're just like sucking the, the, the liquid out of their eyes or something. It does look really cool when it's in the water and it's kind of like boiling the water off almost. I'll have to keep my depth in mind. I think it said this goes down to about 300 meters and that's basically where I can go to. We'll stop right here for safety. Hey, Iron Cube. Still don't really... I can't make anything with them yet, I don't think. Kind of fish looking thing. New technology Makes acquired. sense, there are a lot of fish looking things under the water we have found. Even if we can't regrow them, I don't know how many of these we actually need, so, you know, this might be enough. A little lithium as well. If we stay high enough in the water, we can go... Maybe if we scrape along the roof here, we can go a little bit farther and then I can swim around and investigate a little more. It does seem relatively safe in here. <laughs> 